Hey everyone, how is it going? This is Mystic Daedra here, and I'm going to be presenting to you today a new Let's Play series. I'm going to be doing a single player mod for Arma 3 called Dynamic Recon Ops. I'll leave a link in the description below. I've got a few other mods going. Uh, I've got RHS Gref, United States uh, Armed Forces, and Armed Forces of the Russian Federation and um, a few other miscellaneous mods. And I'll try to remember to link those down in the description as well. Uh, specifically, two mods you're going to notice pretty quickly are these ones right here. And they, um, they adjust visual and auditory aspects of the game. So, uh, especially JRS, JSRS, and uh, Enhanced Soundscape. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. The mission I'm going to be playing is this one right here, Dynamic Recon Ops. Okay, there's a huge description. I'll also put this in the description below. Um, difficulty, because of the aimbot-ish nature of AI <laughs> in... Um, vanilla with the vanilla um ai because uh dro does not use vcom or anything like that um i always have to turn down some of these settings here because it doesn't matter how good of a player you are their aimbot will take you out because they're aimbots so i have the precision set 0.45 and the skill at 0.65 and i do have a few other things um I do have uh, crosshair and uh, a few other things, mainly not for my own sake. I'm doing it for you guys. If you would rather I didn't play with those settings, I can always turn them off later. Uh, but for now, I thought I'd go ahead and just leave them on. Um, just make sure this all looks good. Yep, it's my bold. Alright. All right, so here we go. And uh, this is Altus. Uh, Dynamic Recon Ops has a whole bunch of different maps available. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, a specific map, pretty much all the popular ones, there is a uh, version of DRO for it. Ah! Okay. So, info. Welcome. Dynamic Recon Ops is a randomized, playable scenario that generates an enemy-occupied area with a selection of tasks to complete within. You can press the Start button at the bottom right to immediately play a random scenario, or use the arrow buttons above to scroll through the available customization options. Thanks for playing, and have fun. So now, I do want to play mostly vanilla, except, not vanilla, but random, I should say. I do want to make sure that we're using um, the RHS factions, because otherwise it's like kind of, whoops, not RPA. Um, this is all from Graph, I believe. Hmm, I don't know. Do we want to... Eh. eh. Okay, we'll do, we'll do that. That's fine. Um, environment. Keep everything random. Scenario. Everything's random. I'm not choosing the AO. We'll find out once we get in <laughs> what our AO will be. Um, normal. Uh, let's be a normal for now. I'm probably going to die like a gazillion times anyways, so. Objectives, random, objective preferences. I think I won't have any preferences. I probably do, but <laughs> we'll leave it random as well. Okay, so now I can add some extra. So I can add NATO. I can add USAF. 
and I can add who else should I add I guess I'll add USMC I don't know what the W or D stands for I should probably look that up <laughs> maybe I should do Navy hmm. well the USMC if it, wait, wait wait that's supposed to be USA this is US uh, okay now enemy faction so we've got RVA maybe do I want CSAT as well I'm not I'm gonna say no CSAT NATO kind of can fit but once you put CSAT in there um, it, it starts to you know, RHS is kind of about real life factions and whatnot. So you put a bunch of other factions in there and it becomes a little less believable. VPVO. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks intimidating. Ooh, VVS camo. Ooh. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Uh, do I want insurgents? I don't think so. Okay, I'll do VVS camo, I guess. We'll see. Maybe I'm like way off here and I'm like making really bad decisions. No big deal. What? Was that everything? Yes, it was. Okay. Okay. So, without further ado, here we go. I'm hoping that this mission will generate quickly because I do have an SSD and a decent CPU. So one thing we're going to do as soon as we load into the mission is we're going to change our loadout. Okay, because a lot of the loadouts are either faction loadouts or vanilla loadouts that are not, they don't have really good gear in them. <laughs> And my recommendation, ooh, that's very green. Why is that so green? My recommendation is to always make sure you have night vision goggles. Observe. I guess this is my base or something? Rescue captive, observe. Okay, we'll, we'll observe first. Do we have briefing? No. Team. Hmm. I guess we'll just get right into it. I guess these are towns occupied by the enemy. Wait a minute. What? I spawned way over here? What? Okay. <laughs> um, that'll be interesting, I guess. Okay. Ah, here we go. Okay, so you get a few different possible loadouts available to you. Um, I really wish this were Arsenal because I'm a little confused. UAV operator? Do I need a UAV operator? I'm not sure I need or want a UAV operator. No, I don't want a UAV operator. I would way rather have a rifleman. Ooh, recon JTAC. What has he got? Oh, that's right. Here we go into our arsenal. This is going to be the arsenal for this Arcom JTAC guy. Okay, okay. I don't think that's the sniper rifle though, it's just silenced and he's got a grenade launcher. Look at that giant fat grenade in there. Um, okay. Uh, we'll go back to Archon J Tech. Recon. Where is it? 
should probably have a sniper in my team. Although that might end up being me. Do I want this team leader? Hmm. All right, well, let's see what we got from the top. Squad leader. Okay, so this is vanilla here. Team leader, also vanilla. Marksman, vanilla. I want something that's not in vanilla. Paratrooper. Yes, that's also vanilla. Recon scout. Recon AT. Recon demo specialist. Recon paramedic. Recon Marksman, Recon JTAC. I'm a little confused here. What what gun is this? This is the MX. So the so this these are not RHS. Oops. Okay. Well, I want RHS. So then you should not be Recon JTAC. You should be. Scout Sniper? What's the Scout Sniper got? Okay, okay. M40A5. I dig it, I dig it. What about you guys? What do you think? Okay. He doesn't have a silencer, though. I guess there isn't one for this weapon. Alright, well, he can, he can go ahead and, and be that. Scout Sniper. He was that the one I had chosen? M107. Oh no, I had chosen the M40. Yeah, M40. Okay, what do I want? Big honking gun with like anti material. <laughs> Scout spotter. Oh, uh, I, th I think I could I could do this. I like the scope. It's a good scope. It's a decent scope, I guess. Okay, so what do we got here? We got here an M4A1 Glock 2 SOP Mod Stock. Okay, so uh, that has to do partly with the uh, the barrel and, and the you know the kind of accessories there. So. The you know the receiver is the same. It's all M4A1 receivers are built equally. You could say. Um, okay, but oh, it took it off. Uh, so the Urco, I love the Urco. Urco comes with, if you weren't aware, it comes with um, Apex. You know, I really wish I could just look through all of these <laughs> really quick. I'm familiar with a few of them. MOS. MOS is decent for sniping, but I don't like its little iron sights it's got. Mirko is probably one of my favorite um, scopes outside the Night Stalker, but the Night Stalker could be considered a little cheaty, so... Um, I'm looking right here on the top. Okay, so you see how this guy has the little thing there? That's good. You want something with that or... That's a really big scope for this gun, though. I have mixed feelings about that. This one looks decent. I think I'll go, where is it, this guy, and now, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, here we go, uh, we got ourselves a silencer, that's good, that's good, um, okay, we'll do that, oh, I, would rather have a helmet. Uh, 
Helmet time! Combat helmet camo. Yeah? Eh? Enhanced combat helmet. Ah, there we go. And now I need... Night vision goggles. Now, do I want to be all cheaty and go with the um, VG? I don't know. What do you guys think? Would that be considered cheaty? Maybe I'm the team leader, so I get one. No one else does or something. We'll, we'll stay away from that, I guess. As much as I love to play with it, it just frankly is cheaty. <laughs> There's no real way around that. It's, it's a cheaty little guy. I'll go with the green bug eye looking guy there. Um, I don't know what I care about. The video I don't know. Ooh. Probably won't end up ever using it, but I want to make sure I have it. I definitely want the range finder. Um, so this guy, David Faulkner, that's you, just so you know. The first one on the list is you. Um, I'm going to have a, a four-man squad, including myself. Um, we can always bring someone else in later if we so desire. And everything's random. So, here we go. Oh, yay! He got stuck. Be advised, support units are now on standby. Out. See if I can go third person. Yay! Here's my guy. With his gun and stuff. Um, so we do have another arsenal here. Let me see what's in its inventory, though. Wait, I thought I had a backpack. Oh, no, I didn't have a backpack. Oh, I'm full. I am loaded with stuff. Holy cow, look at this. <laughs> Which weighs more, I wonder. They weigh the same. Well, I'll put that one on, I guess. Kit bag. I want the kit bag. Why do I want the kit bag? Because I want to make sure I have room for all the stuff I need. I need more first aid kits than that. I need a lot of first aid kits. I'm going to be getting hit so often. <laughs> You know it's going to happen. Uh, they don't have a toolkit. Darn it. We take... What do we take? 5.56 NATO. So I'm using these rounds? What about... Oh no, that's 6 five. Um, Okay, I'll take like one. Two more. Um, I have a Glock. I have a few rounds for that. With luck, I won't ever be using it. Um, what else? What else? Do I have grenades? I have not very many grenades. A couple of those. I have smoke. Should have plenty of smoke. That weighs a lot. Charges don't weigh very much, so I'll take charges. Cool. Alright. Forward march. Um, although we're not going to march. We're going to get in our nifty little vehicle doohickey here. Interesting. If I can remember how to get in. There we go. <laughs> ah. Alright. Alright. Everyone, get in that vehicle. Get Copy. in. Nice. Ready. Waiting. Ready. And I'm going to tell them to hold, hold fire because that could be very unpleasant. All right. Okay. So here's where we spawned Camp Albatross. I. 
Let's do this. Oh, man. It's going to be hard. We'll do this one first. I'm going to put a mark here. And then we're going to follow the road till we get here. I'll put the second mark here so I can. Um, and then we're going to proceed this way. So I'm going to say. Uh, we need to rotate that guy. It's not going to let me rotate. Well, there. Hmm. Meh. There. I'll work. Okay. Here we go. Where's my waypoint? My waypoint is... It's always so hard. There it is. Now, I'm really hoping this thing is armored, because if it's not, like, bulletproof and stuff, then I'm gonna be, frankly, pissed. This thing is slow as hell. And no one has a toolkit, so if I lose a tire, I'm really screwed. Um, I did try to run this game with Ace. I prefer Ace by far. Um, not just for some of the realism things that most people think of, like the medical system, which I usually run on basic anyways. But um, specifically, the way that Ace has it set up to um, repair vehicles, you don't have to have a toolkit to like replace a bad tire. Anyone can do that. You have to have a toolkit to replace damage and stuff. But a simple flat tire is no longer a huge hassle to deal with, so. And then um, the other thing is the, the way the explosions work with Ace, the shrapnel and stuff like that. It just, I feel like it, it adds a little bit of realism that I think should have been in the base game to start with. So, okay, so... Let's take a look. We're going to go here, and then we're going to cut off and go this way. And then we're going to proceed probably on foot. Um, if this is like anything like the ambush slash pris prisoner rescue missions that, um, that I'm used to in other game modes, like anti-stasi or overthrow or what have you, um, most likely, they literally have a guy on a chair and another guy with a pistol aimed at his head. <laughs> and the second we're discovered, he pulls that trigger in the guy's bag. So, a little unrealistic, because they probably in real life wouldn't be all set up for that to happen like that. It would probably be, they would probably still go right for the person and kill him, but it almost certainly wouldn't be as. it locks the wheels. <laughs> I don't really see anything from here. I'm going to have to get out. Oh good, I got the range finder. Oh, it's just on the other side of the hill. Okay, so I should be able to get to that hill no problem then. Where is this hill that I'm looking at? That's here, I guess. Yeah, maybe. No, it's closer. That's more like it. Uh, I'm going to put a cut in here, and I'll be right back. And we're back. All right. 
I'm going to try not to let this episode go too much over 30 minutes, but I want to get some solid action in here. These first episodes of series like this are almost always full of um, setup, and I like to get real gameplay going on. can't see through those trees. It's just as well, because they can definitely see me. I do have a mechanic on my team. I, I guess they kind of knew that, but I don't know. Okay, here is where we get out. So now, I have a bit of a conundrum, which is that... And I don't know what mod specifically is causing this but i can't find there it is uh Stealth. dismount roger no oh i did not mean to do that standing by covering go standing by oopsie that was my bad let's try not to explode that I have half a mind to move my vehicle. I probably won't need it, though. In just a moment here, I'm going to... Let's see, I'm, I need my night vision now. He's gonna go and get himself spotted. Covering fire. Move back. Roger. Good. You guys stay there while I go. In. Look at them just running around like fools. So here's where we parked. Here's us. This is simply the center of this whole thing. They could be anywhere here. It looks like we have a resupply over here. That's good to know. So I do believe it's right in there, though. I see light. I see people. Contact! Man! 100 meters! Just up ahead! Contact! Man! 200 meters! Just up ahead! Eyes on target! Okay, that's excellent, but how do I identify who the Contact! Rifleman, is? 200 meters, just up ahead. Contact, man, 100 meters. It's definitely Front. a camp. There's the tent right there. Grenadier. What's this guy? Can't tell. Shoot, I'm gonna have to get closer. There's a guy, kind of just sitting over there. Target acquired. Contact! Soldier! 100 meters! Right up ahead! So this guy's looking at us. I haven't Target seen a civilian acquired. yet. What if we went over here? Where's that? 
I guess better. See, there's like just this little tiny hill here that. Oh, he's stuck in the ground. <laughs> nice. Armor 3 physics for the win. Eyes on target. Eyes on target. Contact. Man. Almost 200 meters. Me. Just up ahead. Fortunately, it's dark. So, even if they were wearing night vision, they would have to really be looking. Contact. You know. Man. 200 meters. Front. I don't see the resupply. Oh, is that it over there? Gosh, we're over 30 minutes, which is about how long I like to keep my episodes. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to put a cut in here, and next episode will come in and we'll Ready to fire. just get right away shooting and doing stuff. Um, apologies about the lack of content this first episode. Again, most of my episode one, part one, whatever of new Let's Plays I do have a lot of setup. So just be aware of that. If that's something you're not interested in, I highly encourage you to come back for episodes two, etc. Because they will have a lot more interesting target. stuff going on. So anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do have any suggestions, comments, feedback, let me know in the comments section below. Um, I like to think that I'm fairly knowledgeable about Armor 3. I have about 600 hours, I would say, on my Steam account. So, But, you know, I know there's so much that I can still learn about the game. I'm not, by any means, a hardcore player. Um, although, I wouldn't call myself a casual either. So, But, uh, anyways, any any advice or anything like that. Maybe there's some people out there who are already Ready familiar with this Contact. game mode. This I is really the first time I've played. So. Alright guys, once again, I hope you enjoyed. Take care now. Bye.